So tell me a little bit about the match today. So uh, today's this way. today's okay. match, uh, we had um, 120 shooters from around uh, actually 14 different states, hmm. um, giving us uh, some of the best competitors in the country uh, coming over to, to shoot the defensive pistol. Uh, it's all scenario based uh, stages. Um, these all scenarios have all been tested, local matches, uh, some state match stuff, and, hmm. and uh, we brought the best matches that we could for the state match uh, to get everybody out here. Uh, just have a good time, it's a good shoot. Uh, and watch some amazing competitors. We got some national champions that are competing down here. They saw uh, what uh, Vogel. Bob, is in Bob there? Vogel is a, is a past national champion. Another uh, gentleman was, was going to be here, and, and he had a conflict and ended up not being able to make it. Uh, Donnie Burton won mm -hmm. uh, nationals last year, uh, so he was going to be here um, uh, and then just couldn't make it. Uh, so, uh, but we had some some top notch competitors here today. Tell me a little bit about the, the just the sport in general. The uh, IDPA pistol. is uh, is pretty much. Um, Defensive pistol. It, it, it is what its name is. It, it's based on uh, concealed carry. Uh, everything is usually done with a concealment garment, uh, where you got to get rid of your garment, draw your weapon, um, engage your threat targets, uh, make sure you don't hit the non-threat targets. Uh, sometimes the targets move. Uh, they'll swing. They'll they'll drop. They'll move side to side. So a matter of getting uh, engaging the targets as you see them, as you need to see them, as you need to defend yourself defend your family, defend whatever in that particular situation. Yeah, what benefit is there for someone to get involved with it? Uh, it's it's uh, anybody who's got a uh, concealed carry license, it's really a good idea. Um, I don't want to say it's training, it's practice, uh, but it is kind of practice. If, if you've got a CCW, you find yourself in a situation, uh, if you've shot some IDPA, you've got some uh, some familiarity with, hmm. with, with the situation, with the stress of a, of a situation, um, and, and I have no evidence to truly back it up because I don't know many people that have been in a situation have to deal with it but um, the theory is you'll be able to deal with it better uh, I know if I'm ever in a situation um, the training and the, and the time that I put into IDPA uh, I think I would respond much better now than I would have five years ago before I got started in IDPA. Is it a real gear intensive activity? No actually the gear is almost uh, off the shelf uh, most everything the guns are not race guns off the shelf guns um, Actually, race guns are illegal. We don't even allow them to be used. Uh, so the, the basic, everything from the, the high point, 9 millimeter, that's about 140 bucks or so, to, uh, to up to, yeah, some of these guys have some custom guns out here that are three or $4,000, but I shoot, uh, I shoot Springfield XD. It's a $400 gun. Uh, I moved up a little bit to 1911 style. I shoot a pair of ordnance, about $800. So uh, not bad. So a pretty low cost of entry for someone low getting into it? Low cost of entry, it's, it's a matter of... Uh, what you need is, is a off-the-shelf gun, a holster, hip holster, um, mag carriers, uh, revolvers, uh, speed loaders, or, or um, uh, moon clips, depending on, on what revolver they're going to use, uh, and a cover garment is all uh, that's actually required. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it now, this is probably my fifth year uh, uh, being involved. Uh, I run uh, the match, There's a, a, we do the same club match at Big Darby hmm. in West Jeff, uh, the fourth Saturday. We have a club match here in Circleville uh, the second Saturday uh, every month, and uh, I work with both of the clubs that, uh, that we do that. So Both of them are open to the public to yeah, shoot? Yeah, it's public shoots. Uh, come on in. Everybody's welcome. Um, it's always nice if, if you don't have any experience drawing or cover um, or your equipment might be questionable to come watch for the first match, get an idea of what it is, um, get a feel for what's going on, and then uh, uh, more than welcome you know, to come on out. If you have some experience uh, shooting and, and have some experience with carry or draw, uh, first time out is always a good time too. Uh, sometimes we get some big, uh, big squads. We will get sometimes 40 to 60 shooters for a month of club matches. So yeah. it gets it gets a little crazy. Some new folks uh, may feel like they get lost. Uh, the safety officers are all trained, and we make sure they don't get lost. But uh, I know I've, I've talked to a few people that uh, uh, just kind of felt like they were swallowed up by uh, the the, the the better shooters or the shooters that have been competing for a longer period of time. All right, that's all I need. All right, great.